Hey, what's up guys? This is my list of 2019 of the best air rifle scopes. We're going to leave hunting, tactical, and general purpose scopes out of this. These are air rifle scopes. They're either going to have side, front, or rear focus. They'll all focus up close, air rifle distances, and every single one of these scopes, I've owned it one time or another, so I know they're all winners. Okay, now here's how I'm going to do this. I'm going to start at $100 and work my way up to about $600. Right there, I'm going to pull the plug. Most of the guys that I talk to are shopping in this price range, so that's the ones we're going to focus on. I had enough screwing around. Let's kick this thing off. All right, guys, let's start this out with the scope that every year I consistently say is the best scope on the market for $100, the Hog Vantage 2-7. Crystal clear, lightweight, compact. It's just a killer little scope. I can't see any way you could go wrong buying this thing, ever. Bushnell AR 2-7. Now this thing was already a badass, and now they've updated with a throw lever, better glass, larger objective, crystal freaking clear. This thing tests out perfect every single time I try one. They've got other magnifications, but the 2-7 to seven to me is by far the best in this series. Now the TAC Vector 10x44 is another killer freaking scope. Guys are always looking for an economy version of basically the SWFA 10 power. This is the best that i found. You can pick one up for under $200. Really good glass, basically an SWFA copy, but a damn good one for a really good price. I think you guys will like it. The Athlon Talus 4 to 16. Now, I have owned three of these. If that'll give you any kind of freaking idea how much I like this scope. Really good glass. I love the crosshair in it. I love the way the focus works. It tracks great. It's just a really good buy. No bullshit. All right, now this little scope here is one of the most underappreciated air rifle scopes on the market. Compact, lightweight. Built for the double recoil, so springers are not going to tear the damn thing up. And I happen to know, because I was there in person, that Air Guns of Arizona has a stash of these put back, just in case some guys need one. Give them a ring. I'm sure they'll help you up. All right, the little Discovery 3-12 to Mini. First focal plane, short as a Chinaman's pecker, lightweight. Folks, is down close, has a killer freaking little crosshair in it. If you're looking for something that you can put on top of a small bullpup and it's not going to swamp it and make it top heavy, this little summage here from Ed Gun West is the way to go. Now, this is one of my favorite scopes that I've reviewed over the last couple of years, the Bushnell Engage 2.5 to 10. They have it in other magnifications, but this one hits that perfect sweet spot. Huge field of view, great glass, killer reticle. This thing is an incredible, incredible scope. I love Bushnell, and this is one of the reasons I do. Now, while it'd be hard to argue with any of the fixed power SWFA SS scopes that set in this slot right here, I prefer the 12 power because you get almost as large a field of view as the 10 and a little more magnification. Killer glass. These things are bulletproof. There's nothing you can do to tear one up. I don't give a shit if you use it to knock out a car window. It's built to take it. The Louisville Freedom VX 3 90 FR. Another scope that is an improvement on an original great scope. The VX2 3 90 FR was one of my favorite scopes ever. This one here carries on the tradition for $100 less. It's got a little cooler texture, a little better look, and the glass is every bit as good. You can never go wrong with this scope, period. Vortex Diamondback Tactical First Focal Plane. Easily one of the most anticipated scopes of 2018. It carries right on with what it's doing in 2019. Pure badass, no question asked warranty. It's hard to go wrong with Vortex. This one is the perfect example of why people say that. When you look through it, you use it, you'll realize what a great buy it is. The Aztec's 5.5 to 25. Now, the only shortcoming in the world of this scope, I personally prefer the second focal plane, is at the very top end of the magnification, like a lot of scopes in this price range, the image gets a little fuzzy. Think of it as a 5 to 20 that tracks perfect, killer crosshair. Here's a picture of my buddy Shane Keller using one. If it's good enough for him at EBR, it's good enough for anybody. 
Here's another killer little scope that came out last year, the Bushnell Nitro 4 to 16. I personally like the magnification on this particular scope. It's got a couple of different finishes, great glass. Again, one of the reasons I love Bushnell is the value that you get for the price that you pay. This one is another example why Bushnell is always so freaking high on my list. Weaver Tactical 3 to 15. This scope was originally made to retail for $1,000. You can pick one up at Natchez Shooter Supply for $500 on sale. And I will kiss your mud duck ass if you can find something for under $1,000 that'll touch this thing. Other than the scope that follows this one. The glass is that good. Tracking perfect. Indestructible. What a badass. My favorite scope on the market for $600, the SWFA 3 to 15 first focal plane. I personally like the Milquad crosshair. I know if you look it up, it's going to say $700, but SWFA has sales about 10 times a year. All you have to do is sign up for the mailing list. When it's on sale, it sells for about $600. This thing is incredible. Ask anybody that's ever used one, anybody that's ever tested one, this is a killer ass scope guys thanks a ton for watching if there's a scope that you think should be on this list that i left off list it in the comment below for other guys and guys there's also going to be a link below to my paypal account if you want to help support honest reviews unbiased reviews that's the way to do it because let's face it i don't want to go back to stripping thanks for watching guys take care